Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Trifium, and welcome to Darren McIntyre Daily PvP. This is going to be a special Happy Holidays edition. Hopefully, you guys all had an excellent Christmas. And we are going to be restarting the series right up in the new year on January 1st, which is Monday. And if you guys are interested in submitting your clips for the series, email us at PvP at gmail.com. We'll have it listed in the description. In today's episode, we have, like I said, a special edition for you. This isn't going to be just regular submitted clips. We actually have Jonathan LOL coming on the series today with some live commentary PvP for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy, and of course, you can check out his channel via the link in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you do, be sure to hit it up with a like, and see you next year, guys. Happy New Year. Hey, everyone. It's Jonathan LOL, and today's clip is Elemental Shaman, Resto Druid, Frost Mage, and... We were playing against DK Shadow Priest Resto Shaman, and it was quite a quite a pretty decent game. It was it was very fun, and I uh, just want to commentate over the game. So the first thing I want to do is get the Shaman in some CC. So I go over and pounce him and put him into a full cyclone. And uh, the mate, my mage is getting hit really hard by the DK, so I decide to throw a pounce onto him, and then I'm gonna root him to make sure that my mage can't be hit for a little while, and so he can have some he can have some uptime. Uh, we're really focusing on going on the DK here, but we're hitting the priest a little bit considering that we needed to get the DK off of us for a bit. And now this DK is just like training me and it's difficult. So I try to save as many cooldowns as I can and I use my, my last stand and my shadow melt and I get away with using only that basically. So I still have like all of my defensive cooldowns and uh, and I decide that it's very important to save my defensive cooldowns for my teammates because I, I have an ice block and that is something that you need to remember while you're playing with a mage. If you have an ice block, it's very important for you to save your cooldowns for your teammates. And I put the shaman into a full cycle and enforce his trinket and we get the DK extremely low and uh, we force the priest to blow a life swap and I put a cyclone on the DK and call a swap to the priest because he has no health. And we we do have the shaman in some CC. He was in a poly there, but he came out. I'm trying to put him into more, but I, I miss my, my roar, and that's unfortunate. So I decide to NS clone his aura mastery, and we get a lot of damage done during this time. The DK pops his shell, and the priest is really out of cooldowns. He doesn't really have any life swap anymore. Uh, I'm not sure if he has disperse or not, but... We have the, the Shaman pretty much locked down on CC, and the DK steals my Mage's Poly, and I get polyed unfortunately, but I still have a Trinket, so everything's all good. Now all we really have to do is focus the DK, because the Shaman doesn't have any defenses really, the DK has no Trinket, he has no Shell, the Priest has no Life Swap, so I put the Shaman into a full Pounce Clone, and the DK gets pulled on the other side of the map, for some reason he's over there, I guess he forgot where his Shaman was. And uh, I'm able to put the Shaman in some more CC, and the DK is just going to go down because he's on the opposite side of the map. Uh, I guess they had a miscommunication there because that was just terrible positioning on their part. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and uh, make sure everyone's safe. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go subscribe to my channel. It, it's on the screen, and it's in the description. I hope to see you guys on my channel soon. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.